Heidi, uh, a fantastic day, a fantastic launch event of the Northern Rail Cup. You must be extremely excited about what's coming up. Oh, I mean, it's just been a brilliant sponsorship for us over the last two years. So to renew that for another three, um, the turnout today has been great and we're looking forward to an excellent competition. If it can be as good as what we've had for the last two years, then I'll be very, very pleased. And it culminates in that great final day in Blackpool as well. There's that to look forward in the calendar. I mean, ha hasn't that just become, you know, a, something for everybody to look forward to? People are making a week end of it away to Blackpool. We've had two sellout finals, two nail-biting finals as well um, and now I think the thing is very much firmly in the calendar for rugby league fans which is great. And how important is this to Northern Rail, this competition and their involvement with rugby league? Because it goes right down to the grassroots as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, for Northern Rail we see ourselves very much as a community rail service provider. We're running local rail services all over the north of England um, and the footprint with rugby league is an excellent is an excellent fit and what we've tried to do because we see ourselves very much as part of the community is get involved in something which is also very much a part of the community with what we believe with families and to promote not only the competition itself and our sponsorship but also the game at grassroots level trying to get young people involved in something positive um, that they can contribute to too. Yeah we've got Lee and Witness another good side and of course the Crusaders are looking for promotion um, you know so probably the toughest group um, in the competition, but from our point of view, it'll be an exciting time as well, playing against you know, some high-calibre players, and you know, hopefully be able to pick up a, a thing or two off those teams. And from the off-season that you've had, do you approach the campaign with confidence this year? Yeah, obviously our focus is um, you know, uh, getting through those games and, and learning each game. Um, you know, and to be realistic, we're probably not the favourites to win that uh, division. Um, you know, but you know, we've had a good off-season, the players have approached with a positive attitude, you know, they know the group that they're in and uh, like I said, we'll set ourselves little goals to try and achieve in each of those games. And that then builds towards the rest of the season? For yeah, sure. definitely. You know, um, playing against some good teams put us in good stead for the opening campaign of the, uh, the league. Um, and this is the first time we get to see the, uh, the new points system in action. Uh, are you excited, intrigued? How, yeah, what? a little bit intrigued. Um, you know, it'll mean a lot more to us in the league than, than this competition. But um, you know, I think uh, both ends of the table will you know, look to benefit from it. Yeah, yeah mate, definitely. It's obviously it's one of our objectives to go back and uh, they, they had a good day out last year in Blackpool in front of a, you know, a, very, a lot of good fans. So definitely it's, it's something, a goal of ours that we want to go back and retain this year, definitely. You can set the tone for the rest of the season if you get up to a good start in this competition. Yeah, yeah mate, we're in a tough draw. Obviously, you know, we've got London, uh, the Welsh squad and Witness, so, you know, to, uh, to get through the qualifying stage is going to be really hard, but um, hopefully we can get through that and then progress as the season goes on and, and then get a good start in the league as well. You're new to the job this year, how have you settled in? Are you pleased with what you've seen from your troops so far? Right, great. You know, we've uh, thrown a lot, of, a lot of questions at them and they keep coming up with answers, you know, and they're working really hard and I can't ask for any more. So uh, we're all just looking forward to the season getting underway now and getting a few games under our belts and, and we'll go from there. I think win this, what they finished second last year in... Uh, and uh, NL1 and they, they win the Northern Rock Cup last year with this. That, that, well, they're going to be a tough side anyway, especially for us to finish third in NL2, so probably can't get any tougher than win this game one of the season. A lot of new recruits at Celtic this year. Are, you, are they all settling in well? Do you feel confident for the season? Yeah, we've got a few new recruits. The club's recruited fairly well, so I, I think we're um, quite confident on how we'll do this season. Of course, this competition uh, introduces the new points system. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Are you excited, intrigued? Yeah, I think it's different. I think it's different. So I think it'll keep the games more interesting um, up until the 80 minutes if there's a little bit of a score break. So you, there's a little bit of incentive there not to lose by 12 if you're down, to not let the game get away. So I think it's a good concept. Not a great It's been a very long pre season for myself personally, you know, operations and things like that. I took away now, training four or five times a week. It, it gets you down a bit, to be honest, and all that's a bit cheap out playing now, so we're looking forward to it, yeah. Uh, trip to Wales to kick things off, it's a tough start. Yeah, but there's no better team for us to start with, uh, to be honest, you know. They've made their intentions known, they're where they want to play, and you know, the full time, they've got plenty of others in the side, so looking forward to locking out to see these on the side. We've seen the Northern Rail Cup final develop, and it's now a major part of the Rugby League calendar. It must oh. be a, a big goal for you to get there. Massively, you know, Rugby League's all about playing week by week, and we got knocked out early doors last year, which hampered our preparations a lot. 
uh, you know, and we're in it to win it this year, there's no doubt about that. And whichever team takes on to us, you know, we'll be playing there to win it as hard as we can. Yeah, good. It's, uh, it's a different place to Castleford and um, really enjoying it. It's, it's, a, it's a big town and um, really looking forward to the season ahead and, and what we can do up there. Have you been impressed by how things have gone in pre-season with the squad that you've got? Yeah, I have. I, I think, you know, like we're a little bit behind the eight ball from all the other clubs, but... Um, you know, I think that we're slowly getting there. The, uh, the, you know, like the stadium that we've got is really impressive, and the players that are there are, are really training hard at the moment, putting in a, you know, a good deal of effort. So it's, it's, it's really positive for us. How important is the Northern Rail Cup? Because that can lay a platform for the rest of the year, presumably. Definitely. You know, we uh, at Castleford we took it real serious, and 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 we wanted to to get to that final, and, and we're going to do the same up here. You know, it's. It's uh, big expectations and that, and it's going to be a lot of pressure to, to try and do that because there's you know, great sides in the competition. But um, I think that it's a real good stepping stone for the league. And um, you know, just to experience Blackpool's just tremendous. Oh, it's really important. And uh, you know, everyone tells me what a great day it is at the end of it. So you know, we want to be a part of that. And uh, you know, again, it's, it's the initial stages of the season, so it gives us an opportunity to um, see all our new guys and get some combinations together. Uh, so, yeah, it's important, yeah. It's a tough start away at Doncaster. It's their new ground, the uh, first competitive game we've got down there. They'll, uh, they'll give you a run for your money that day. Oh, I'm sure all the teams will, and, uh, you know, it's exciting. Yeah, we're playing at their new ground. looks a great stadium, and uh, we're playing this weekend, so we'll get a feel for what their team's like. And, uh, yeah, again, we are in the toughest group, but uh, we're quite happy with that. I was looking this morning, you are favourites for the competition. Does that bother you or put any pressure on or is that something that other people talk about? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's how you handle the pressure of that. And at the end of the day, once you, you run onto the field, you know, it doesn't matter who's favourites or not. You know, you've got 17 against 17 and, um, yeah, that, that's fine. You know, it's that, only natural that we would be favourites, you know, coming down from Super League. And you know, I feel we've recruited really well. We've got a lot of Super League experience. So, um, you know, there's some other teams there who look pretty handy on paper as well. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we just listened to the sponsors talking there, and you know, I think as far as Whitehaven are concerned, you know, we're looking forward to you know, a good Northern Rail Cup campaign. It's a competition that you've watched, we've watched grow over the years, and it'd be great for a club like ours to, to get to the final. You can really lay the platform for the rest of the season as well. It can set a tone for you, can't it? Yeah, I think in the past it's been a bit of a holy grail for clubs that have won it. You know, the, the, uh, I remember Castleford and uh, LKR two years ago, and you know, everyone thought LKR would go on and get Super League. They didn't, and um, but no, we're for us, you know, we're one of the competition favourites and probably worthy of that at the moment. So, you know, we've got um, Blackpool in our group, so I think our supporters are looking for a bit of a dress rehearsal when we go down there, and so we can go again on the big day. How do you feel your uh, pre-season has gone so far? Are you happy with the progress you're making? Yeah, we are. We've um, we've kept uh, pretty much the same squad from last year. We've got a lot of our young local players who are pushing hard for, for place in the team. Um, come, the Cumbrian come weather's hampered us a little bit. It's been a very, very wet winter up there. So we've, um, we've been flooded off and done a lot of training indoors. So we're certainly fit. Uh, we're just a little bit behind with our skill, but um, hopefully we'll, we'll come good. Yeah, I'm very, very excited of, with the new stadium and uh, the start of the season, and uh, especially even more the start of this Nova World Cup. Uh, it's a difficult game to start with, Castleford at home. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Uh, I think all the boys are itching to uh, to get to get in the mix with uh, Castleford, and uh, it's, it's, it's a great great start for us, I believe, because uh, they're, they're one of the teams that everyone will be looking to to size themselves up against. So it's a great start for us, I believe. Should get a lot of fans through through the gates as well for your uh, first competitive game at the new stadium. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, you know, we can get all the fans that that we can and. Uh, and any kind of support is greatly appreciated by the players. We've seen the Northern Rail Cup grow over the last few years. The final is now a big, big event. That must be um, something that the players really strive for, knowing that that's on the horizon if you do well in this competition. Oh, definitely. That's, uh, I think in, in any sport, you know, you want to win the silverware and uh, you want to get in amongst, amongst the finals and, and win as much cups and trophies as you can. So, you know, we're more than, than keen and... I'm willing to work hard in order to get to the finals and, and win it.